Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. I switched back over to my main, main account. This was the account I would use in system battles and stuff like that in Vlue back in the day. I can show you some of that if I select a new character. This is my, my CSV. It's untagged, but here's where the base comes from, guys. This was our... the. The clan tag, as we would call it, for you know our team. Everybody had a base. Uh, the Blood Dragon's an interesting thing because that's a, a custom ship just to flu. So who's on? Oh, Bucktop is on. Okay. It's a Happy New Year kind of thing. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm up. It's a, it's a New Year morning. Before everybody else starts to stir, I thought, let's do some things and... Ship repair, this is another ship where it's advantageous to clip the wings. I'm not going to fix this right now. I'm just making sure there's nothing else wrong with it. But it should be just the wings, yeah. If you shoot the wings off this, it becomes very small. And so this... was really good for system battles, because you're hard to hit. And having fewer elements on the ship made it more resistant to missiles. You can still get popped in the face of one, but it was, you know, you, you take less damage. And you're less likely to be one shot. Now, this was a little tricky deal here because it does have slightly smaller gun ratings. Like, you, you're stuck with these two missiles. A Lancer and a Catapult, if you hit them both, you could kill somebody, but the main purpose of this ship was it has four shield killers on it and a ripper mine. So, what would happen when you're flying in formation, I would go in first, take out the shields of the, uh, as many shields as I could, because just one burst from that would knock down opponent shields, and the people behind me with the heavy missiles would then completely take things apart. Dog. Good times. It did work. I didn't always use it. Sometimes I would use... I would use my eagle. Eagle's a little bit more of a strong and independent build. This is in Leeds because this is probably the area we were battling for for a while. I mean, I remember we were we were working Bretonia pretty hard. Those were, those were the Draco areas. Let's see, where's the? Here's my eagle. My eagle up at Signo 19. I'm not sure why. This is the standard build. Two, two uh, Tisdale Sids, two blasters, two cannons. I don't have a turret mounted. That could have been a choice because none of the turrets sync up well with the gun. You end up with more bullet spread. And the turret on the eagle isn't very good. It could, it could also be that I just didn't get a chance to get one. Because sometimes it's, it was good just to have that. Uh, you know, like a sky blaster or something there, so you could clip somebody a little bit if they were coming around. It would it would engage at the far end you know, of, the, of the arc. And again, I've got the uh, I've got the tail feathers tri trimmed on this one as well. Ah, oh, here we are. We're up at the Hawaii. This this could have been I was just parked my ship like this was I was on vacation. This was me on vacation. <laughs> For all this time, I have not used this ship in a long time. Imagine I was just kind of cruising on the, the Hawaii, relaxing. Go to dock. Acknowledged. Your request to dock is granted. Proceed to dock one. One of the things I always wanted to do was actually get like uh, you can, you could, in theory, if you have an active clan, you could buy one of these. 
the, the actual space cruiser, and then you could take it out. And I, I was going to do this whole thing called base tours, where you go around and just shoot nomads and stuff in the heavy nomad systems with the luxury liner, like every kind of gun could watch. Like and that's not a reasonable thing because it does have uh, significant armor and guns. I'll give you these bits of story. It's such a good game. Now, Night Raider, I think, as I recall, I had that set up so it had its a uh, type of message thing of your base and system service that thing on. I forgot I've set that up. That site's not even really up anymore. I have to rebuild all that. It got taken down by, by hackers a while ago, and I, I've got everything repointed to a single square space, all my pages, but there's nothing really on them. Two, two thunderbolts, that's interesting. And blasters and cans. The, and a death's hand turret. So this is all. Yeah, this is all. It's a completely a whole ship. This is for blasting the crap out of nomads. This is a nomad hunter. What's our what's our uh, our rep on this? Yeah, nomads, outcasts, Xenos, and Red Hessians. But we're good with the order. Where am I? You know, shipyard. Okay, this was this is one of those places where you could get high-paying missions. Want to do one? I haven't used a saber in a while. Be good to do something here. Those are real high paying. A lot of nomad stuff though. Pilot, need some help? Ah, it's a rep thing here. No, that's a, that's more money. I would like to do a nomad mission for for this one. Yeah, I don't feel like yeah. Let's do a nomad, an anti-nomad mission. Get that one. Outcast. Looks like the best anti-nomad mission we can get is this one. Might get blown up. Let's see, do I have anything in here? Anything loose? No. One of my New Year's resolutions is to try to get more diversity in my gaming. Cause I've been playing so much CTA because of the new, Go to. the new DLCs. The contract yeah, DLC the is very good. Mission waypoint. See the nav map for further details. It's definitely encouraging you to play the game. I'd like to do a bunch of those agency contracts and at least enough to unlock all the vehicle prices in case I want something. But they're not bad. It's not bad. I'm doing slowly over time, but I miss Freelancer. I miss TF2. I'm, and there's other things I want to do, you know? How long have I had Kerbal Space Program and done nothing with it, you know? I thought I'd start the year out with a little time. I had some time in the morning, and I just thought, let's let's play some freelancer. I need to relax. With the new year, we just we're gonna have a new year, some time to ourselves here. I mean, I have GTA videos out to July, so I mean, I could I could really take a sabbatical here and really not affect the channel. I can I can use that time to just play, play some games, relax. I'm going to try and and do a lot less pressure as far as how I play the game. That's a little bit early. Now.
Yeah, this is a Nomad Hunter now. The Knight Raider ship was always going to be the ship that, if I, if it needed to get its its rep messed up, it's it's a Raider. It's just going in. It's an it's an NPC hunter. More armor and forward firepower than an eagle. Not as maneuverable. But then again, let's see. Sun Slayer. See if I can remember how to even. Let's fire a Sun Slayer. Okay. Making sure I know how to do that. See, the problem is it's so slow that you have to do a little bit of a trick here to get it to launch out there fast, and that's to thrust fire and then break so it goes away from you, because you don't want that hit next to you. Hostile ships in range. We mark them to make them easier to spot. Get it wrong. Get it right. Get it right. Now, the nomads have no shields. So they're real susceptible to those. And they're real susceptible to those. Now, Looping around like this isn't really proper technique for a saber. Looks like there are more hostiles at the next waypoint. Take them out too. We're going to have those track in at the next waypoint here. Yeah, no, I guess not. Because theoretically, what you want to do is you hit engine kill and coast. And then you can do this. And the AI in particular won't follow you. They'll do that. <laughs> they will pe pepper you with bullets as you pass. But this would, this is even proper. Uh, I've, if I hit engine kill again, have I? There we go. But let's say I didn't want to use my shields again. You can see the distance trailing off there. I'm out of gun range. Now I can just wait for my shields to come back up before going back in. Now in a, in a PvP fight you wouldn't have this advantage. Because they're going to come after you. But that's the fast way of, of doing it. You constantly keep your guns trained on everybody. I wouldn't use a, a Sun Slayer in a PvP either. There's one cruise disruptor and you're done. But here, incoming torpedo, bang, cruise disruptor. And before it ever gets away from your ship. You toast. Oh, that's interesting. Another group. You want torpedoes on them. Alright, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's retreat a little bit here. We need to... That's a lot of them. Nomad mission is not the easiest. Get back into battle. You're not being paid to run. I'm going to take all of it. You're back within range of the waypoint. Try to keep it that way. No. I don't know why I keep losing um, engine kill. It should stay in engine kill. I am somehow not in engine kill mode. Shield fail. 
So we're not killing them very fast. This is a problem. This is the mission commission. You are violating our agreement. Finish your assignment. A mission commission. Now, if I was as skilled as I once were, I probably wouldn't need to use that many torpedoes, but you gotta get your practice back in here with these things. I haven't used a saber in I don't even know how long. There we go. See, it's, it's still there. I must be hitting something. Maybe I'm bumping E. I don't want to show off the guns. Mission Commission is going to complain, but they can complain for a long, all day long. Come on. There's been a lot of these, so... What did that give us? Hey! He gave us some more bots there, so that'll be good. You did it. The area is clear. Well done. Mission Hopefully I didn't off. lose money on that. Well, we survived. That was a lot of nomads, though. It's a lot to take on at once. What did we get? Anything good? We didn't get any guns? No guns? Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. Okay, we're at 57 million on this. Let's just see. Does it go up or down <laughs> when we land? As commerce and some economic, economic freedoms began to flood the border world, so did greater access to technology and the need for change. The saber is the fruit of the border world's ingenuity and pure capitalism, coalesced into one lethal embodiment. The ship boasts enormous power capacity, as well as extreme defensive capability. And it does. a lot of armor. It's good. Best turret location in the, in the game as far as heavy fighters are concerned. It's good looking. It gives you a kind of like almost like an X Wing fighter kind of feel to it. Or like a, a kid's toy where you could put your hand here and then there'd be like a trigger and you can make all the guns go bang, bang, bang. I mean, technically, it's, it's a different structure to it, but it does have the X Wing fighter kind of gun locations. Are we here? Jack, your request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock two. Yeah, here we are. This is Bounty Hunters, Yellow Six, sending the Certainly it's got the, the main layout of an X Wing. As far as the cockpit position and stuff like that. And even kind of the torpedo location is not far off. It has more guns than an X though. Thankfully. So we get done re repairing everything. Repair complete. I think, I think overall we've lost a little bit on this. Well, now wait a minute. That's not entirely true because that we got paid before that. So we're going to have to do some math. So if we were at 57 and that was, well, wow. let's just say 300,000. That would when we would have gone from fifty four that so we still made you know let's see, since so that was no fifty it would have been 
56 700 some odd. so we made maybe a lot we, we, we made money we made about 100k there we lost a lot on that because of all the missiles we watched the missile could more expensive how much is a how much is a missile nowadays we spent like 30 missiles 7k so yeah normally what I'd like to do is just fire two or three to soften them up and then shoot the rest of them down but it'd go that well let's see we might as well do the full tour here in Defender Elite in California this set up does this really only hold tell me now about There might have been something about this where it didn't hold a lot of ammo, so I don't remember it being that way. Let's see. Yeah, that was some weird thing. Like because it's based on a defender, he didn't have as many nanobots on this one. Slightly lighter armor. I mean, it's not. It's not. Wasn't the best to use. It was kind of neat because it was a good role play kind of thing. Tis and a Kraken. That's an interesting selection. That's right. It only has three class tens. It has a forward firing turret. The Reaper Zeta. Yeah, it's a regular. So it's a. This is a weird. Oh, this is a store ship. Here you go. This is one of my store ships. So when I would get stuff, I want to save it. You put it on this one. This one never leaves. Is there anybody on here? You can take it out of it. California. All right, this is where we get off. Thanks for your help. This is Navy Alpha 15 15 to Willard Research. It's pretty maneuverable. And again, it's a fun ship because it is a Liberty Heavy Fighter. It's a very heavy fighter. Please stand by. We're full at the moment. You will be cleared to proceed when it's free. I don't remember why Willard was the place I decided to put this. You are now cleared to dock. I you're talking years, you know? It's why did why Willard? Was there an RP thing? Role playing? Not, you know. Not reputation points, I mean role playing. It's in an out of the place, you know, out of the way place, so maybe that's. or out of the place way. Maybe it had something to do with that. Was there. what ships can you get here at Willard? Oh, this one. So maybe that was it. Maybe we just bought it here. What's happening to her face, son? That's a little bit weird. The shading is not... Look at this. The shading has gone weird on me. Willard shipped to Lord Major Woody. Is this a custom base? Has the base... Well, the base has been customized to add the... Uh, that ship. Is there anyone else we can? Body Hunter, Tracker, Nick Barnes. These are standard. Chris Logan, Lieutenant Anthony Lords. <sighs> Crappy missions. And yeah, what was for sale? Excuse me. No, eh, not much. So now we've seen everything. We're back around to the CSV, which is a neat ship. Again, it's one that has been added thanks to the FLU mod. Maybe we'll do a run. What's here? It's a good alien orgs run. Dangerous alien artifacts. That's where you sell them. 
Where do you get them? I forget. There was a trick. It might be something you have to mind those from local uh, bad aliens. Dangerous aliens. I believe this ship was used as a loader for an LT, so that's why I've got not got the good alien orgs price on here. Let's maybe we should do that. Do the run. It's only a twenty one thousand kind of thing, not a lot of risk. But let's take a look at the map first. How hard is this? Right, universe ends. Here's Planet Torito. Toledo. Okay, so it jumps us to beta. And we go from beta, it's pretty much straight to beta to theta, then back around. That's not a bad run. Planet Toledo, as I recall, is an order base. This should be order kind of stuff, as far as the missions are concerned. This is all custom, this whole system. High paying. I very recall, I think I developed the RP that, the roleplay that the outcasts had been corrupted by the nomads, and so that's why the outcasts were somehow tied to the nomads. The, the issue with it is, is that. If you shoot nomads, there's some kind of glitch where it makes you hostile with the outcasts, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because nobody likes the uh, the nomads, so you had to come up with something. They're beautiful as far as these, these bases are concerned. So I've got this is mounted up. It's a shield killer ship as well. Almost the same armament, really, as my Blood Dragon. This is a ship only used by the Junkers in-game, and you can't get it normally in vanilla. I don't think the, 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 the vanilla Junkers ship is as good as this. This is a good ship. Combat support vessel. The CSV. And the armor's not very heavy fighter stuff, nomads. This is not good. Okay. Um, that's a cruise disruptor. They they gave they, they, they gave the uh, whatchamacallits they gave the nomads cru uh, cruise disruptors, which is really problematic. Especially if you're in a shield killer ship, uh, because um, yeah, your guns aren't gonna do anything. You just have to dump uh, dump mines and missiles at them until they go away. But if you can avoid it a bit, if you leave your countermeasures turned on, they'll just fire when the missile comes in. And If you're lucky, they get away. Let's see, there's some order ships. The Anubis. The Anubis is nice. Oh, this is bad. Please keep working. And this is why you would do this in an LT usually. I'm guessing what happened here is that we, when base was active, somebody else had an LT and I was helping load. But the CSV is not a bad trader in its own right. I mean, it does have a pretty good cargo capacity. More than the drum. More than the drum. Oh, dear, oh, dear, 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 dear. Take it vertical sometimes. It is, a, it is a bit of a... of a Wrath of Khan kind of game where it's... It does have two-dimensional thought. They, all your enemies are basically in a plane for the most part. Unless unless Robocop has tweaked that up with the mod. Against a whole huge group of nomads like that, I would not do well. We have to avoid.
X, X, X. I'm gonna run out of cruise disruptors at some point. Now, Beta is not a friendly place either, because the outcasts are gonna want this. Um, do I have a do I have a neutral rep? Yeah. So far, I'm negative with nomads though, so I wonder if this is gonna be a real problem. I, we should have outcasts on here on the list. We should have seen them. Yeah, they were. They're neutral. Good. I really spent five hours on this ship. That's per ship. Yeeks. That's they're all around me. Okay. I am going to have to take over manual control on this and then hope we can speed jump this in. That was all around us. I don't know how they, they got a, we got away that quickly. I think we, we, we might run into a pack right at the jump hole. I'm not sure. The timing seems right. That wasn't quite as smooth as I could. I, sometimes you can get perfect, but we just want to get in the get in. And light the engines as soon as you get in here. Yeah, let's go right to Sigma 19. This is not a game you want to play without your headphones on. Because <laughs> the audio cues are critical. I don't know. Do we want to do Sigma 19? That'll be the long way around. Otherwise, we're going to have to go Alpha, Theta. Where the heck is the Theta? Can you get that Theta from there? Yeah, I think we really we're going the wrong direction. We need to go this way. Which is problematic when you're dealing with something like alien orgs which die. Did we not buy anything? Where is my cargo? What you saw me buy them, didn't you? They don't, they don't expire that quick. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> well, that was fun. Let's get back. Actually, there, there is a better way to doing this. We're getting back. If I've got nothing in the hold. How do I have nothing in the hold? That's just... What time is it? 9.30. I'm going to have to start getting ready for regular day stuff.
That's better than... So what happened? I thought I did this and then that. I'm going to try this again. It's going to be similar. It's a good thing I looked. That would have been really, really... Bear with me here as we do all that again. Do I not even have... That's not good. But we could do that. We could go that route to get to Theta. It's a little, it's not as uh, quick as going to Alpha. We could Alpha, go right to Theta, then across. And the beta and theta jump holes in alpha are pretty close, so. This time we'll go to the top of beta. Find the new jump hole. Get the new route. Bad, bad, bad. They got me. Why, don't I have a thruster? Where is my thruster? Here, hold on, there we go. Am I hitting the wrong button? Shield there we go, finally. Shield Let's do the engine kill switch thing. Shield Ooh. Bleh, all this stuff's lost. And someone's texting me, oh goodness. Okay, it's a Happy New Year text. Well, I hope this isn't, like, bode well for the New Year. This is how we, we're going to try it again. You lose all your stuff in this because of the PvP. So I lost all my missiles, lost all my... You, it's, it's a heavy cost. But darn it. Is it there? Is it there? Yes. But I don't know what happened there where I couldn't find the thruster. It just wasn't didn't seem to be doing much. In theory I could get end up finding all that stuff in space, but I think it's gone now. And there's no, like, path around this. Like, there's just, this whole system is full of nomads. Again, with an LT, with a large transport, you have such guns. Hey, the EAPF does not exist. They're still saying that. That's cool. They do. But that's between us. I've seen them. I'm wondering if we take a slightly vertical jaunt right here and make a, a kind of an angle down. Will we avoid nomad patrols? Like, are there any patrol paths that we could... No. There's no marked patrol paths. So we can't even like avoid where they might normally be. It's boring till it's terrifying. That's 
It's a jump scare kind of system. Okay. No, no, you don't. Why didn't it engine kill? I hit the engine kill. It's not doing it. Okay, there is one other way out of this. It's not honorable. This is called jumping to hyperspace. Oh, man, they're really throwing a lot of stuff at me. And that's how you do that. That's. I guess it's not entirely. If you're in a, a straight grinding mode, then that's a method. At least we, we covered the method. Man, there's a lot of them. Thirty-five K you don't normally think of as being a long distance, but let's see what is it, sixty-five total? Something along those lines. Around here. I just realized I'm not even in go to. I have to fly this manual here. I, I don't feel like needing that extra moment to switch over. Come on, cut me some slack. Let me get to the jump hole. With some cruise disrupt, some countermeasures still left. <coughs> that's not a that's not something that the nomads can do in vanilla. They don't have cruise disruptors, which would make sense because cruise disruptors are a, a human thing. But <coughs> at this point in the game, as far as the mods concerned, they've captured enough people that they've figured it out. And they're making their own cruise disruptors. Not that they generally capture people, but, you know. Okay, come on. Come on, let's get there. Let the order shoot at the nomads. Even though their patrols seem awfully scant. Come on. Whew, okay. So we shouldn't have to deal with huge waves of nomads anymore. Just regular waves of outcasts. Go to. Now, if we could peel away fast enough, they won't scan us. Of 
That looks like a long way, but Beta is really a small system. Same technique. Go vertical. Even though they're not hostile, you want to avoid them. Because it just takes one scan. Then you're getting missiles and bullets and all kinds of things. I could theoretically land at the outcast base and charge up, but get more countermeasures, stuff like that. But they could pirate me. And likely would. Okay, so we avoided those guys. Now the downside about the using go to as you get closer is that it will slow your ship down like into a docking thing when you get close enough and you want to just fly right into it. Okay, switching over to manual for the speed dock. We haven't detected the uh, the jump hole yet. There it is. Dog. So new jump hole. That's good. Okay. Immediately light the motor up. We don't even care where we're going. We're only going here. Go to. You can see why this is such a shortcut. Cuts two systems out. And just weapons platforms and stuff here. You want to? We want to get out of this. Dog. Pop to Theta. I think we will stop at 3.9. We should be able to top up on the Alien Orgs as well. Go to. Come on. Corsairs. They'll, they'll pirate you just as quick. Bounty hunters and corsairs. Okay, so they're keeping each other busy. What we want to see is we want to see three point nine come up. There we are. Then we can clear all waypoints. By this point, we're pretty safe as far as the three point nine is concerned. Dog. <coughs> probably not getting pirated right here. Could probably tank the damage to uh till we get docked. Acknowledged. Your request to dock is granted. Proceed to dock two. Received your transmission zone Oh, we're doing a lot today as far as the map on this ship. So we do our repairs. Well, repair me. Repair complete. And let's see. Commodity trader. I believe, yeah, you could get alien orgs here. Not as cheap as the other place, but we don't need but six of them to top things off. 
It's interesting. It keeps the health of the last one. That's, I think that used to be a little different. So let's go to the map while we're here. Omega-41 is going to be the goal. That will have its own challenges. Go to. The radiation in the Omega-41 is going to be problematic. Like, we might have to stop at Lyon. Or at least target and go past Leon. Which is a Corsair base, which could pirate us and just blast us to smithereens. Now, what you have to imagine is that once upon a time, this is all done in you know, drums. It was just from. Freeport 9 over, so your profit wasn't as good. You didn't have as much, much cargo space. But people used to do this all the time, with an active player base trying to take you out. Do we have any of them? He's in Hokkaido, Coyote's in Sigma 13, we're, we're clear. Do this. Clear all work points. Okay, well we're we're still lined up on it. It's selected, that's the main thing. Corsairs. Leave me alone. Centurions aren't as problematic. We're getting into the, the easier systems here, the lower level systems. Although, Omega-41 is anything but, as far as difficulty. Oh, oh dear, go, go, go. Weapons are ready. I see my target. Do we have anything on map here? Freeport 5. Well, let's head to Freeport 5. Go to. I have to get some of my old neural nets up. We did a whole story about Freeport Five being a home for home for vampires. arrived with the uh, the sleeper ships because there's so little light down here Roger that your request to dock is granted please proceed to dock two do some repairs. Oh, I hit the button wrong. I mean, we haven't gained anything here. We can... Repair complete. That's just from the rads. <coughs> yeah, I think it used to be if you landed, it would freshen up your cargo, but it doesn't do that anymore. We don't want to do something silly like taking uh, taking artifacts to try and sweeten the deal here, because we don't want we don't want once we get to Bretonia, we just want it to be all good, you know? Nothing illegal about alien arcs. Okay. We pop out. Let us shoot slightly south of Leon. Go to 
because you do not want to go you don't want to cut this across this way it won't end well you probably could get away with some of it that neutron star the radiation will just eat your your, your hull down to nothing in no time flat you might not even be able to react <coughs> That's not good. Okay, it's it's hot for him, not for me. Oh yeah, we're not on go to. Go to. Go to. Titans. Do you see there's there's Corsairs and so there's Centurions over there. Titans and you don't want to mess with Titans. Not even a little bit. Didn't cut nearly as, uh, didn't give it nearly as much room as I would have liked. Only 7k away from. Okay, so let's loop it around. Just hope we're not noticed. I don't remember what scan, that the scan range is on those, whether it's less than a thousand or something like that. Salamanca, class nines. Yeah, a lot of armor. I could I really have to I found what I wanted. Now just be cool and hand it over, alright? Okay, I'll just be cool and hand this over or not. Now here's the here's another trick for you. If you're ever in this situation, don't do anything. Because if you hit cancel or you drop the cargo, then they they act, they, they they react. Really bad move, slick. So they're gonna start shooting at me, but so I'm in the docking screen. It doesn't really matter. So, but if you if you don't react to it, then they hold off their response. So that's one way of getting out of it. But we're not in friendly we're not in a friendly place here. Not even a little bit. Go go go. Hit go to without a destination, I'll at least drive around the rocks. Now, we gotta get to that camera jump hole. This is, Cadiz is interesting. For most of my characters, this would be a, a home away from home kind of place. But now I'm loaded up with stuff they would want. Hessians could, could pirate us, the Corsairs could pirate us. But now, Omega Five is a slightly lower level. Then you get stilettos. You're gonna get centurions. Stuff that's not as bad. Here you can see the. Along here, you get a bunch of weapons platforms and stuff like that because that's the the battle lines between the Hessians and the Corsairs. Dog. This is why you, you speed dock it, because you hit dock here and it's just really slow. It's pretty. They're all shooting at each other. Okay, so now, oh dear, hit, 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 hit it. I just got hit by them. Come on. We don't want to go right to the medium white. We want to go to the Battleship Norfolk, where I will have protection. Now, if I was running artifacts, I think Cambridge Research is a good place to sell these. We'll see. If I was running the artifacts, which still they're happy to buy there too, then I'd just go cross country. But since I've got alien orgs, I 
Now, boy, it's been a while. I'm really hoping that the, the Cambridge... Is, do I have I got Cambridge on uh, on the map? No. I don't think so, because it should tell me. Yeah, no, it should be. These are all basic stuff. You can't get a lot of it like plant cameras, but the research center should be the place. We'll find out. Ten o'clock. This is going to be the last thing we do here because I'm going to have to stream the 11 o'clock mass today that I do that. And I'm not even showered yet, so there's things that have to be done. Let's see if I can pick the right top or bottom here. Come on, where's the green lights? Bottom. Dog. Not as smooth as you'd hope, but I was coming at such an angle. Reached. You can get raided here, but it's such a short, you know, thing. Some things they'll crude, they'll disrupt Trade the. Uh... Oh, look at that! Speak of the devil. That's not going to be effective. Okay, Bucktop, where did he just transfer to? New Berlin, okay. When you see someone switch like that, sometimes they're switching on to you. And getting pirated by a player is a whole other thing. Okay, Cambridge. What do we got? Your request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock one. Please submit your designation. This is Britonia Police Delta at five. Submitting data. We've received your transmission, Britonia Police Delta five. What is your destination? We're on a trade mission from. This is Britonia Police Alpha eighteen. It freelancer Alpha. All right, we made it. And how much did we make? Did I, did I go to the right station? Yeah, two thousand. That's why I remember. So here you go. So there's there's not profit, but I mean a pretty good profit. Not pure profit, but I mean that's a fairly sizable gain there. Nothing to do now, but go grab a beer. A Liberty Ale. <laughs> there should be something better in, uh, in Britain. In the Britonia. Yeah, no, no missions really here. Of any worth. Good day. Are you thirsty? I'm not really thirsty, thanks. Got anything else? You are new? Sure. Your reputation is damaged. I can discreetly repair it as a service. Keep talking. I'm here. Yeah. That's not what I had in mind. Thanks anyway. I remain to serve, Mr. Trent. How's he on Trent? I didn't tell him my name. Well, on that note, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just thought I'd have a little, I thought I'd take a little path, you know, a little walk down memory lane here for, for New Year's Day. Try to do a little bit more of this freelancing kind of stuff here as the year goes on. Among other things. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.